Well, chorizo is one of the most popular breakfast foods in San Antonio. I personally love it. I don't know about you, Sarah, but uh, when it comes to chorizo, Andy Garcia Foods is somewhat of a household name. Yeah, and in this week's Maiden essay, Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Castreno takes us inside the company that is all about food and family. Andy Garcia started his business in 1965 with only a dream and $15. My mom and my dad started the business in their, the garage of their house. My dad, uh, this gentleman had a barbacoa business and was selling it and he sold it to my dad for $15. And my dad didn't even have the money to pay the $15. Their risk paid off, able to pay back the money for the equipment in the first weekend. All, all of the family was always involved. I used to go with my dad when I was as young as probably three or four every week to, to Dallas to get the cow heads. We make the barbacoa. The weekend side job, Kenny Garcia, the current president of the company, remembers fondly. And back then there used to be a show called Batman and every trip he'd stop and let me see the show you know, stop at a store and we'd watch it, then continue on. And so I can remember that very, very clear. The same truck still sitting in front of their location today, reminding them where they came from. And now we go, you know, to the back and we see huge trucks and more than one. And it's just neat to see where we came from. In the 80s, Garcia Foods branched out to tamales and chorizo. The breakfast sausage taking off. I believe it's the qual quality in the products and the consistency in the products. My dad takes a lot of pride in doing things perfect. Now a well-known name in kitchens across the country and into Mexico. I'm, I'm very proud of, I can't even believe it when I think back of when my dad started in, in the garage. Andy Garcia is now retired, handing over cooking duties to Kenny who says he's sharing the family tradition with his children. I'm very proud. I didn't realize, you know, growing up, what a neat thing. Not till I started getting older that I realized, oh, you know, how special it is and how it's, you know, authentic. It's um, made with love. Andre Castellano, Kins 5, Eyewitness News.